So I thought I'd quickly put together a video on how to use CCTV cameras like this one uh, with vMix. So this is just a bog standard CCTV camera. It's PoE with network and you've got standard um, 12 volt, I believe, on the barrel. Um, these are really quite cheap. They're not particularly great. They're very budget uh, in terms of cameras for camera worlds. But there is some use cases where you might want these type of cameras. They're generally low picture quality. Um, they have a significant delay versus traditional SDI or HDMI infrastructure um, and you generally get no picture adjustments on the camera other than like this one's got a zoom which is a manual zoom there's a focus uh, which is a manual focus and there is some settings in the web interface if you can get into the web interface um, but yeah I'll show you how to add these to vMix um, have fun so here I am in vMix um, you can see I've already got quite a, a bit of a file going already um, but I'll quickly show you how you can add those CCTV cameras so you just add an input and then the uh, you go basically to stream SRT and then up here you need to do RTSP which is real time streaming protocol over TCP and then in the URL you need to be quite specific about what URL you have so it's RTSP Code on whack whack or forward slash forward slash. Um, then your username and then password. So this is where it gets a bit specific. So it's admin uh, and then colon to separate your username and password. And admin being the password at the IP address. And then forward slash live. So this tends to work with quite a lot of um, quite a lot of cameras. At least all the ones I've tested you use this format. And I'm going to change the latency to 30 milliseconds. And I'm just going to add that as a camera. So, here you go, you can see I have a camera, it's upside down. <laughs> because, why not? And that camera um, is now in our vMix file. So I'm just going to remove that input for now, because I've already got it, so I don't want duplicates. Um, and then I am going to quickly show you that I have 12 cameras already added. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and 12. There are 12 separate cameras that are added to my vMix file. So I've got them on 3 grids here of 4 each. And then I have a 16 grid which has got the, uh, the 4 three lots of the four so get the 12 cameras and then me just down in the bottom corner so there you go that is 12 um, CCTV cameras connected up to vMix and they're all the same you just different IP address uh, and if you set your username and passwords you would have to put them in the, um, the URL when you add them so you might ask is this particularly stressing my machine so this is a laptop uh, and if I open up Task Manager, I'll put it this side. Open up Task Manager, you can see um, it's eight core, sixteen thread, and I'm you know solidly using just over forty percent. Um, and if we go down, it's got sixteen gig of RAM. It's pretty constant. It's not really changed. Um, and then on my GPU, I've obviously got the internal GPU which is running the the laptop screen, so it is using that for some task. Um, it has to pass the frame buffer back from the the actual graphics card in this laptop back to the actual screen so it's doing some work and then the actual NVIDIA, this is an RTX 3060 um, it's been pretty constant around 40-50% to 50 on the 3D and then um, it, it's also been pretty constant on its memory usage but it's not significant uh, it's a 6 gig card in this one so it's not really doing much and the only other thing to talk about is the, the network so um, CCTV cameras don't tend to use a lot of network bandwidth they're normally 264 encoded um, so they don't tend to use a huge amount because there's not normally a huge amount of movement with CCTV cameras so they're, they're quite quite efficient on their bandwidth anyway that's how you add CCTV cameras to vMix or IP CCTV cameras to vMix it's not particularly complicated you just kind of need to know the format that your camera kicks out its RTSP feed and its IP address. I'll do a separate video on how to find the IP addresses of cameras on your LAN. 
um, I tend to use a bit of software called Nmap, um, which is a network scanning application. It just scans the network and then it will tell you what devices have what ports open and then I make an educated guess depending on what ports they are. RTSP is port 554. So if you find a device with port 554 open, odds are it's a camera or some other streaming device um, like an MVR that's doing like a quad view and then just bringing that back to the network. So there, that's how you get CCTV cameras, IPC TV cameras into VMIX. And I hope this has been helpful.